guys and welcome back to my channel uh, so today I'm going to do um, empty videos for you for the last uh, few weeks I was collecting um, empty boxes so now I can show you what I've used up and uh, tell you whether am I going to buy it again or not so the box looks like this it's massive I really got uh, many many things in here so I hope you won't get too bored of it um, so right, starting with um, her conditioner, uh, as you can see I cut it open because I loved it this much. That was actually the first uh, product I've got from this brand, uh, the brand is called, um, I believe you pronounce it Sakin. Uh, I bought it at TK Maxx and I paid £4 for it. Uh, it should. Whoop, sorry, I'm back. It should be quite um, natural. It's 100% vegan, 100% carbon uh, neutral, and no animal testing. Um, and there is a long list of uh, things that it doesn't have. I don't know whether you guys will be able to see it. Uh, maybe not, but uh, definitely can recommend that one. Use the app completely. So, next thing I've got is um, my cellar cleansing, um, my cellar cleans cleansing water uh, from Garnier. I keep using those uh, pretty much all the time. Uh, it's very cheap. You can get it at a drugstore for uh, around five pounds, sometimes even cheaper. Uh, this was 700 millimeters, so uh, a big massive bottle. Um, I'm actually only using it uh, just to cleanse off the first layer of my makeup and normally I'm using it for the eyes only. But it doesn't um, give you this weird blurry feeling on your eyes uh, and I like it a lot. So uh, I've got a few of these in here I believe but yeah I, I will definitely actually we purchased it already and I'm using it again so yeah. Uh, what's next? Next one is uh, this Carix um, shower and bath gel. Uh, didn't like that one at all. I've used it but uh, didn't like the smell of it. Uh, I don't know it's a definite no. Um, next one, uh, Vichy Antiperspirant, um, once again I've used it many times, uh, many, many um, bottles of it. Uh, it gives you a good protection and uh, it smells lovely. So I didn't really purchase it now only because I find it a bit expensive, it's getting more and more expensive and it doesn't last for a very long time so I bought something else for now but I'm pretty much sure I'm gonna uh, come back to it sooner or later because uh, it's a very nice product. So next we've got um, got to be dry um, dry shampoo instant refresh removes uh, excess oil long lasting fragrance um, it, it didn't smell nice at all. I don't know. Uh, I, I used it up, but it wasn't doing anything with my hair. Uh, didn't like it at all. So I will be definitely not repurchasing this one. Next one, we've got a body butter cream from Soap and Glory, and I'm totally in love with those ones. I keep. Oh, they smell so amazing. I just love them, uh, especially during uh, autumn and winter months. Uh, I keep repurchasing those all the time. Uh, you can get them uh, on offer uh, at Boots for, I believe it's free for two, so you're buying uh, free but only paying for two, which is quite a good price. Uh, they give you a lot of uh, moisture and uh, keep your skin really moisturized and uh, nice so uh, it's definitely um, something that I will buy again. Next 
next I've got two um, shower gels. Uh, I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I've got them at uh, Lidl's. They were very, very cheap. I can't remember. Uh, I believe they were under uh, 50 pence each. And definitely not worth buying it again. Uh, never, ever again. Next uh, shower gel I've used up is this uh, Nivea Massive Box. Uh, actually quite nice. I liked uh, those ones. A lot. I'm definitely gonna buy it again. Um, next, uh, dry shampoo, uh, Batiste, uh, coconut and exotic tropical scent. And this one, oh my god, it smells amazing. Uh, I love it. And I actually like uh, Batiste's uh, dry shampoos the best. Uh, I find them the best uh, ones ever. But they are getting more expensive, so yeah, maybe it would be nice to find an alternative, but so far those are the best ones. The only one thing um, with this one was, uh, it's not dedicated for brunettes, and uh, it kept leaving like a white smudges on my hair, so, but other than that, it's a great product. Uh, I will definitely repurchase this one just in the uh, brunette, uh, brunette version, so yes. Next we've got those ones. Uh, I used it up <laughs> until the very end, both of them. Um, I keep repurchasing those all the time. Uh, this is uh, Dr. G uh, BB cream. Uh, I keep using it for a few years now and I'm loving it. Uh, every time uh, when I'm trying to use something else, I'm always coming back to it. Uh, so yeah, I will definitely repurchase this uh, once again. It's a really nice. Maybe it doesn't give you this much of a coverage, but if you don't need too much of a coverage, it's a great product and it has an uh, SPF, uh, which is quite high. Uh, I can't find it here, but I believe... Um, yeah, it's a uh, SPF 30, so it's quite high, very good for the summer months. Right. Next, I've got this um, Head and Shoulders uh, shampoo, uh, scalp relief. I used to have quite a itchy scalp, um, so I was trying to find something that will help me with it, but this one wasn't really doing anything, so I would definitely not recommend it or buy it again. Next shampoo I've used up was this uh, Glaze uh, Schwarzkopf Glaze Hair Repair. Uh, it was alright, nice scent, nice, nothing, nothing too special, but uh, I'm probably gonna end up buying it again at some point. More shampoo coming, uh, Tony and Guy. Actually, I'm in love with this one. I think that was the first time I had it. I bought it at, uh, I believe I bought it at TK Maxx. The scent, it's, it's nice, not the nicest one, but nice enough. But it kept leaving my hair really moisturized and um, just nice. So, yeah, definitely gonna, gonna check uh, some of those in the future. Right. Um, next I've got this Amber Romance Victoria's Secret um, spray. Lovely, lovely scent. Uh, nothing more to add really. It's just a body mist. Uh, really nice. Definitely gonna buy it again. Especially uh, nice for the winter months. I don't know. I'm always thinking about winter and cold days when I'm uh, smelling this. I don't know, it might be just me. So that was that. I've got a few perfumes that I've used up uh, recently. I actually got quite a few. So that's um, Elizabeth Arden. Uh, I can't remember what was it called exactly. But it was nice uh, everyday perfume. I won't be describing uh, the scent of it because I'm really bad at doing this. 
Oh, it's called uh, Untold. But uh, I liked it, I would definitely buy it again, but um, yeah. So the next one I got uh, given of my sister. It's a Lancome um, Tresa, I believe you pronounce it. It's a lovely, lovely scent. Uh, quite heavy, so maybe better for the uh, evening going out or um, winter months. Like that one. And one of my favourites are uh, Alien by Fairy Magla. Oh, I just love this one. I'm totally in love with those uh, perfumes. I keep repurchasing those uh, over and over again and I think I always will. I've got a few more here. One more of a Fiori Magla. I'm not sure whether this was a um, limited version. Oh, this one is so, so nice. I uh, definitely need to buy it again. I hope it wasn't limited so uh, I can still buy it. Can't remember though what was it called. Um, it was an angel perfume, but uh, I can't remember what was it called exactly. But it's lovely, lovely scent. I can't. I think it smells a little bit of chocolate. I don't know, but I like it a lot. I'm gonna buy it again uh, if it's still available. And I believe the last perfume I've got to show you today. It's um. Victor Wolf uh, Bonbon, uh, very summery, nice uh, flowery scent. Uh, I will definitely buy again, uh, but in the summer months. Uh, I don't think it's this good for winter, but it's obviously up to you. So this. I've got a few mascaras, quite a few. They're all from uh, Maybelline. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Three of those are from uh, Max Factor, um, and one is from Maybelline. I, I keep repurchasing those uh, pretty much on a regular basis. Uh, those ones, um, I don't know. I wasn't. Uh, I thought. I think I bought them on an offer. This is why I got three of those. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna buy them again. They didn't really do anything special, they were just uh, an average mascara, so uh, maybe I will try to find something better, so that's a no. Uh, I've got one more mascara from the brand uh, called Douglas. I got this one in Douglas, they had it on offer. Uh, it was very cheap, I can't remember now how much I've paid, but it was uh, ridiculously cheap. So I bought it, uh, it was recommended to me by one of the uh, staff in the store and as soon as I opened it at home, it turned out it's so dry, you cannot actually use it, so that's the story behind this mascara. Maybe it would be better if it wouldn't be this dry, but uh, definitely not going to buy this one again. I also got two um, uh, face creams, like a day um, day creams. This one, found called Nubo. I got this one at TK Maxx, and uh, it was quite expensive, and I couldn't stand the smell of it. I used it up, but it was just uh, not very nice experience. I will definitely not buy it again. And also, I didn't see uh, any difference on my skin, so I don't think it was doing this much. For this price, I will definitely not buy it again. So that's a no. And the other one, um, Avin. It's a nice, uh, nice brand. I like Avin. Nice scent. It's not too much into your face. I don't like uh, having moisturizers on my skin that are just too much into your face and you keep smelling them pretty much all day. Just uh, I don't like that. But this one, it was it was really nice, uh, very moisturizing. At the time when I was buying it, uh, I had a few problems with my skin. It was just getting really dry and uh, dehydrating. So um, I needed something to moisturize it and I think this helped me a lot. I will definitely buy it uh, again in the future. At the moment I've got uh, something else that I'm trying out but uh, that's definitely a nice product. Right, 
we're getting um, till the end of it. I've got a um, few hand creams that I've used up. Um, those two, I got them at uh, Marks and Spencers. Uh, they were a nice, nice scents. Uh, kept my hands moisturized. Uh, really nice ones. I, I would definitely recommend them and buy them again. And this one, uh, that's a brand that I've never seen before. I think it's called um, More. Uh, I got this one at TK Maxx and I actually really liked it. Uh, it was really, really nice for my hands. Uh, my hands are getting dry very easily. I don't know what's, uh, what's behind that, but uh, yeah. So this was helping me a lot. I would definitely buy it again. And I only got one makeup product. Oh, sorry, no, the second one because I had uh, some BB cream, but as for that, I got um, Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil and uh, I don't know, I used it uh, pretty much all up, I will not be using it again. But I didn't like it this much, uh, I thought it was, uh, I don't know, quite dry so you couldn't really uh, use it this much and also it, the color uh, it wasn't good for me so maybe that's uh, what it was the color wasn't the best but yeah I'd say no and all I've got left here are two things um cordially face mask uh this was really nice uh lovely moisturizing uh living my skin really nice I will definitely buy this again and uh, La Roche Posay um, sun cream. So I, I keep uh, repurchasing those ones uh, and I definitely recommend it and like it a lot. So, right, we've got um, to the end of it. Uh, it wasn't as many uh, things as I thought it was going to be. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and maybe, and I see you next time. Bye!